40 here on your Friday morning. We are looking live over downtown. It is colder this morning, certainly than it was yesterday morning. 34 in Macon right now uh, with a wind at about six miles an hour. It's making it feel like 29. Got 33 in Roberta, 34 in Cochran, 32 in Irwinton right now, and 32 up in Baldwin County. And it's a popular number on the map this morning with many areas right at the freezing mark. But again, you factor in the wind and it feels a bit colder out there. It feels like 26 in Cochran, 32 in Thomaston. It feels like 34 in Cordill right now. Not a whole lot going on on the surface map high pressure back out near Louisiana. That's going to continue to slide towards central Georgia today. Keep us quiet through the day today and through the day tomorrow before we get rain back into the picture by the time we get to Sunday. So let's map out the details into the afternoon hours. We go temperatures into the 40s. Some clouds by later on this afternoon. High level clouds at that temperatures low to mid 50s. I've got an afternoon high right around 54. And then through the overnight hours Saturday morning cold once again with this northerly wind continuing a few clouds out there and just passing clouds through the day on Saturday. It's Saturday night into Sunday where the overcast skies begin to build in and then the rain comes in by the time we get to Sunday afternoon. Here we are at the 1 p.m. hour, especially areas down to the south and east, some showers possible, and then certainly into the overnight hours Sunday into Monday, looking at widespread rain across central Georgia. Some of that continuing into Monday morning, unfortunately, for the Monday morning commute to work and school. So certainly going to want the umbrella by the time we get into Monday morning across central Georgia, 7 a.m. widespread rain and play this forward into Monday afternoon, maybe one or two lingering showers. That's going to do it. We will be dry for the rest of the day on Monday, maybe a shower or two on Tuesday. And then once we get to Wednesday, that's really when the showers begin to build back in. Better rain chance to the north before another system works its way through here on Thursday. So a pretty good chance of rain both days there. Overnight lows, we got 29 this morning. I'm expecting we get down to that before we call it an official low for the morning. But that's steadily going to warm up by the time we get to the beginning of next week, up to 48 and 49 by Monday and Tuesday. No secret that we have seen a lot of rainfall the past month or so. We're up almost three and a half inches and the drought monitor was updated yesterday for the state still close to 20% in moderate drought but all of that obviously south of central Georgia say from Savannah down near the Tifton area and over towards Thomasville and that is it so they have normally dry conditions don't even come into central Georgia anymore today look for a high temperature of 54 another cool afternoon sunrise right around 732 then for tonight calling it an overnight low of 29 a few spots including Macon below the 30 degree mark but not everybody is going to get there here comes the seven day forecast Again, Saturday, the better of the weekend days. Sunday, a 70% chance of rain. Some of that lasting into Monday morning and then unsettled next week all the way through Groundhog Day, which of course comes your way on Thursday here in Central Georgia.